Hi, it's John. I reckon it's about the 22nd of June. How the month races by. And I'm down the allotment. I haven't done many allotment videos this year. Um, we've got flowers on our fence here. It's a new, new venture that somebody's decided on doing. And we've got these starter plots here for people to so just get a feel of gardening and just to the right here this is our marshy area and we're leaving this for you know wildflowers and um, they're pretty these ones I'm not sure what they're called but there's a fair few about I think they may have been started off by the wildflower person and they've sort of escaped into the area and there's also some yellow rattle in there which is quite a scarce flower because um, I can find it it's actually parasitic um, it sort of um, it lives off of grass so only oh, I can't see it on the camera but it's there somewhere it only lives where there's a certain sort of grass and then it doesn't encourage the grass very much. And uh Helen's in the pond. Don't know what she's doing. Clearing the clearing the well area perhaps. And um red clover is another thing that we've got about, which is good for bees. Try to leave a bit of that. Someone's planted some foxgloves, which were left over from the plant sale in there. Right. Ah, now this is meadow sweet, and not quite in flower yet, but I think some is. And I might make some meadow sweet wine this year. Now, this is one of my allotments, which I've been paying quite a lot of attention to this year. You see my shadow there, so. Um, the very back is, well the very back on the left is some rhubarb that's gone to seed and I'm hoping to plant a row of that rhubarb seed to see whether it grows. Then at the very back is some chard which somebody gave me, it's a white sort of chard. Then some peppers, sweet peppers, which I've grown myself. And then celery on the right hand end of the row. And then a little row of celeriac which somebody gave me. And then all these other ones here are uh, James Wong seeds, um, dahlia yams. They like dahlias, but the roots, you can eat the roots. And then um, some self-set potatoes. And then all this up here is hocha, which has a colorful root. Put a few marigolds about as well, which I had. Um, encourage the bees and things. Encourage the hoverflies, which might eat eat aphids. Over there is some garlic. Um, two lots of garlic. I'm over the other side now because it was a bit the wind in the microphone that side. Now this white thing came from the post office. It was used for sorting mail at one stage. But now it's for water containing in times of drought. It's empty, more or less empty at the moment. And down here is uh, some Ulico, which is a new venture. More Ulico over there. Some broad beans which Helen planted. I'm putting stones in down here because it's very boggy. And uh, I'm putting the soil up on the top. So, my plan anyway. Uh, Brussels sprouts there, uh, which I've had to put the thing over because the pigeons are very keen on them at the moment. And um, this area along here is some, you know, I've got to sort it all out. And the rotavator there, which also needs sorting out. Everything needs sorting out. Ah, no good worrying about it though, is it? So, the wheelbarrow in the evening sun. Right, bye for now.